back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel today i am going to be taking you guys on a productive day in my life it is currently a monday so right now i am logging on to my microbiology lecture which starts in two minutes so i should probably get on that Not too much for your So I just finished my microbiology lecture and it is 11.25. I don't have another class until 1.35, which is my microbiology lab, but I do have a test on Wednesday, so I'm gonna take this time to start going through my stuff and studying for it and then also looking at lab results. I don't have to understand. Don't feel the need to lie to yourself. just ate lunch and I'm currently signing in to my microbiology lab zoom call and we're literally just gonna go over some results probably for like 20 minutes so yeah and Kyle's gonna do the dishes because it's already 1:33 and my class starts at 1 35 So I just finished my lab and Kyle and I are headed to HEB because I need to get some stuff for a KTB service project and also we both need groceries so we are going to go tackle that now and it's always good when Kyle's at the store with me because when I go to the store by myself I stay in there for like three hours so I'll make sure I don't do that. I just got back from H-E-B and put away my groceries and I actually got a little piece of chocolate cake as an incentive to study for my microbiology exam so that after my test on Wednesday, I will treat myself to some chocolate cake. Incentives, guys, incentives. That is how you get yourself to study, especially when it's your last semester of college. Chocolate cake is always the answer. Right now it is 3.45, I'm gonna be studying with Paige around five. So right now I'm just gonna go through some of my stuff and study my materials, get all my things ready for chapter and for praise and worship night. Guys, I just wanna tell y'all how dumb I am. I freaking forgot the nail polish. We went all the way to H-E-B and got all the groceries and the two things I wanted was milk and nail polish and I forgot the nail polish. So anyways, I have to get nail polish before chapter tonight. So that is another thing. I have about an hour, I guess, ish, a little less than an hour, because now I need to stop at the store. But you know what? It's Monday. It'd be like that. I'm probably gonna end up getting myself like some candy to make myself feel better for being stupid, even though I don't deserve a treat for being stupid. You know what? Self care, guys. Self care. Okay, if I'm just being honest, I did not study at all. I've literally been watching TikToks on my phone for like the past 20 something minutes. So it is now 4:15. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start packing up my stuff to head out because I know I'm not gonna be productive if I just sit in my room. I'm gonna eat something really small before I leave and then run to the store and study with Paige. So that is the update. This is my realistic day in life. I like TikToks. I realized 
else, I totally forgot to show off my fit. So here is my Texas A&M pullout day shirt. Pullout day is literally when the sophomores get to say whoop for the first time. Please don't think otherwise because I know it could sound misleading. Um, I just have a scrunchie in my hair and a Lululemon black skirt and some red socks and maroon shoes because why match? It's Monday, guys. Okay, so I'm leaving CVS right now. I got the goods. And I also got all, this person is judging me so hard. I'm just gonna make direct eye contact with them. I got the nail polish, some makeup remover, and a Twix bar because I love Twix. For those of y'all who like Twix, do you like right Twix or left Twix better? Let me know. This one is a right Twix. I usually get left Twix, but I was not paying attention today and I was just kind of in a rush. All right, so I just finished my Twix bar and I chugged a water bottle because I'm also scared of taking my mask off to drink my water. So I chugged this and I'm feeling very good. I'm about to go inside now. Paige is on her way and I'm just gonna go get situated. I'm with my homegirl, Mariana. <laughs> this is James. Hey guys, my name is James. Make sure to look and subscribe down below to Erica. She is my favorite YouTuber right now. Give her a thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe to her Patreon too. Do you have one yet? No. She's so good. Make sure to get her as your... Who eats or do you do? DoorDash. DoorDash. Make sure you get her as the DoorDash. Do you want to be in the vlog? I subscribe to your vlog. Oh my gosh. Oh, vlog. This is like our best... Okay. This is a day in life, so yeah. Welcome to Smart, guys. Um, I am like, she's my awakening mom. We are on Aggie Awakening, and she's half my mom. She's my daughter. Yes. Oh my goodness. That's why she got the curly it's hair, the curl. right? It's genetic, for sure. Yeah. Hey, okay, so vlog. This is the best moment of my life. It is me, I am back. Let's talk about what just happened. So, I went to St. Mary's, right? And I was like, I'm gonna study with Paige, and so I did. And then I went to chapter meeting, and then I was like, I'm gonna study, and then I'm gonna go to praise and worship. But guess what, I didn't study. I went to Smirt with Paige, which is why you saw all those clips of lots of people being in my vlog. And I wanna talk about it. So if you guys follow my channel, you know that I post academic content. Why? Because I'm kind of obsessed with academics like a lot um, and I really 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 strive for that like perfect GPA right and I got into nursing school so like who cares now right like I just need C's because I'm graduating and I'm going to nursing school if you're my nursing school just don't get mad at me so yeah I just I felt really um, drained studying for this test like I just don't feel like I have it in me and maybe it's senioritis which I definitely have um, but part of it is also like my purpose in life was to get into nursing school and I just got into nursing school So now I just don't know what to do with myself. Um, I am Christian in case you didn't know um, I've said in a few of my videos a lot of my videos specifically Catholic and I need to like pray about my purpose in life, right? And so here I am talking to you guys about it because you guys are part of that purpose in my life Yesterday, well when you're watching this, last Sunday, I posted a video um, And it was kind of like taboo But I talked about some things that a lot of Christians do not talk about on the internet I got a lot of DMs People didn't comment on that video, they like personally DM'd me Which I found interesting because that also goes to show kind of how taboo those topics are Not mean DMs, they're all very sweet but they had some questions for me. So I want to talk about it on here because part of the reason I made that video is because I feel like there's a lot of stigma around things like women's health and mostly like trying to balance your spiritual health and your physical health and your mental health. And I think that those things are very stigmatized. Wait, why am I wearing it like this? In a like Christian environment, it can be really hard to talk about your mental health. Um, you know, like you need to trust God more. You're not trusting God enough. That's why you're depressed. And that's not the case at all. And I don't want to like get on a rant in this video or anything like that. You can't be spiritually healthy, physically healthy, mentally healthy, all the things without like establishing that hierarchy of needs and I post a lot of like academic type videos of course and I hope that that motivates you and helps you and like that you enjoy the aesthetic whatever but I also want people to know that like they're also not alone 
so I try to keep my vlogs as like realistic as possible to show like the ugly parts of my day. Let me show you an ugly part of my day. I freaking forgot to give them the nail polish. I went to the store to get the nail polish because I forgot the nail polish and I forgot to give it to them. So there is the realistic part of my day. But yeah, you're not alone if you're struggling with like different health issues and you are not less of a person for dealing with different issues. And as a Christian and as a future nurse, I like want you to feel validated in those experiences. I'm not really one to talk about feelings or anything. It's just like not something I'm always very comfortable with. I'm not a very vulnerable person, but something that I've really been praying about and like focusing on my life is being open to sharing my experiences, whether or not it's like my feelings, just like my experiences in general, because I feel like there's a lot of experiences that I've had that I wish that I had someone to talk to about. I really just want to use this channel to like let you know that like we're in this together and like I want to help you stay motivated for nursing school or for college. Um, I want to educate you on women's health because I feel like women's health is a really taboo, difficult topic to talk about and it's something that I really feel heavy on my heart to talk about. So I talk about it on the internet um, and I put myself in that like awkward situation where I'm talking about my period or whatever on the internet and I hope that it really helps somebody and that it educates someone and makes them feel less alone. So yeah, anyways, I could make a whole video on this. We'll talk another time. If you have any questions or you want to DM me, you can DM me. I don't even know what I was like trying to say when I filmed this segment of my vlog. I just want to talk about where I'm going with this platform and things that are like really important to me and why I made that video. That is all I have to say. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel down below so that we can just be friends and get to know each other. And yeah, anyways, it is... 10 15 p.m. Kyle is on his way over and then I'm gonna make dinner because I'm really hungry My stomach was growling so loud and it was really embarrassing and I need to take a shower So yeah, I'm gonna take y'all on the rest of my day. This video is not over I just wanted to get that off of my chest Today we are making this thinly sliced sirloin beef if you've ever done whole 30 um, This is a staple. It was a staple for me and it's still a staple even though I'm not doing whole 30 slash AIP or anything like that anymore But yes, highly recommend All right, so I'm adding this garlic salt to this I put some garlic salt on it and this is like the best thing ever Also, Kyle just got here and he's making me another piece because I'm really hungry. So yeah, anyways 10 out of 10 recommend this dinner. Um, my hair is wet because I just showered and I'm a clean girl now and I'm ready for bed, but I need to stay up because there's just a few things I need to do, but it's actually midnight and I always go to bed before midnight. So today is just gonna be a weird exception. I have a lot of things on my mind. So I'm going to self care right now. Open up a lavender vanilla candle, pull my lighter out and freaking light this candle, guys. We are just gonna journal, I think. Which, this is not part of my daily normal routine, so I'm not gonna pretend like it is. I'm not like emotional, I'm just like, pensive, I guess. I was the only word I can think of right now. So, I have my journal out, and I am just going to um, lay it out in here um, and talk to, Jesus about this because I don't know what else to do you guys so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna put on some Christian music and we're just gonna journal and we're just gonna have some reflective time also comment down below your favorite Christian song I really love Christian music it's like pretty much the only music that I listen to and TikTok songs of course so yeah anyways if you have any music please let me know because I love finding new Christian music also I'm gonna put in some fake music right here because copyright gonna play out the same, the same, the same, the same. Hey, I love you better today than yesterday Okay, so I just finished journaling and I was listening to the song So Will I by Hillsong, which is a very like generic song, but I really love that song. It's been my favorite song for like a couple years now. I want to start getting ready for bed for real now, so we are going to move my lavender candle over to my nightstand because I love lavender candles and we are just gonna put it here because aesthetic, right? Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
I'm really tired so I'm not gonna stay up and study tonight I'm just gonna wake up in the morning and keep on studying thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel I post videos every Sunday and Wednesday at 12 p.m. so I'll see you guys on Sunday and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week also comment some purple heart emojis if you made it this far because I just want to see something goodbye Play out.